Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Craig at Hiking Pipes. Today's video is a VR to Matt the Glum Chum Piper as he is doing a very generous and beautiful GAW for a pipe. Uh, Matt has asked us to do two questions, um, and I'm going to paraphrase both of them. One has to do with a song that has a uh, significant meaning to us, um, that is a part of us. And the other is, uh, what's the best advice received, gotten while smoking a pipe with others? So uh, as far as uh, the song is concerned, uh, I have an unusual song um, that has intense meaning for me. And that is the song Rock and Robin. Uh, by Bobby Day. The reason that song has so much meaning for me, it's an unusual song, and I don't listen to it very much at all. Is when my daughter was born, uh, we brought her home from the hospital, and she had uh, some medical issues that we didn't know what they were at the time. It turned out to be acid reflux, but at the time she was perpetually crying uh, all the time. Uh, she wouldn't sleep. Um, it was just, it was a very difficult time until we got it diagnosed, which took about four months to get that problem diagnosed. Nothing worse than seeing a child in pain, especially when they're an infant and they can't tell you what's going on. It was, it was absolutely horrible. And she was, she's our only child, so obviously she was our first, and that was our, that was our experience. But um, there were many nights where she was not sleeping that I would be holding her and pacing the floor with her, just trying to get her to relax and try to fall asleep, try to give my wife a break uh, from the crying and everything like that. And while walking and kind of swaying her, I started to sing the song Rockin' Robin, but I substituted her name. Her name's Rebecca. So it was Rockin' Rebecca. And I would just be, you know, she rocks through the treetop all night long. And I, I would be singing this cons constantly to her uh, while swaying her back and forth and trying to get her to go to, uh, to, go to sleep. So that song um, just has some really intense meanings for me uh, due to the circumstances. Uh, and again, I don't know why. I guess it was because I was swaying her that I was rocking her, and that's what popped into my head at that point, and it just stuck. And so... Uh, yeah, that song um, really uh, has significance to me. Uh, the other question is a little more difficult for me because I'm still, again, a relatively new pipe smoker, and most of my piping has been done during this time. Um, again, personal choice is I'm not going out and socializing very much. Uh, my wife has some underlying medical conditions, which we have to be extra cautious about. Uh, she's on some significant medications that compromise her immune system. So, again, that's personal choice. As such, I really haven't been socializing with pipe um, uh, pipe smokers and having to an opportunity to really sit down and speak with them. But what I can say is my experience goes back... Uh, back into 2020 and I'm going to talk about John Harden aka matches 860 being a new pipe smoker especially back then I was struggling with I you know seeing reviews and attending some live streams, especially matches. And, you know, people would talk about what they're smoking and things of like that. And I was strictly aromatics at that point. I mean, heavy aromatics. And people were talking about, you know, Englishes and, you know, Virginias and Burleys and all the other mixes. And as I started to go into forums, you know, it was almost like aromatics were 
poo-pooed upon at the time. You know, at least in my head, I was very impressionable as a pipe smoker. So I felt like it seemed like the menly men smoked Latakia and English blends. So I acquired a couple of uh, English blends at that time. I went down to my local brick and mortar and I uh, saw in the case they had a tin of plum cake and they, uh, McBaron's plum cake, and they had a tin of uh, actually an esoteric uh, Pembroke. So I picked them up. Tried them both. Couldn't stand them. The, the Alatakia was just, even through the plum cake, which has very little comparatively, it still resonated right through. And I was like, this just isn't for me. I, I don't like this. And so I exchanged some communication with John Harden. And what he taught me was... Don't get wrapped around everybody else. You smoke your smoke. You be who you are, and you like what you like, and and you shouldn't be influenced to that degree by people. You know, listen to what people say about certain things. Take that and make a decision, but don't feel like you have to conform to smoking a certain type of tobacco just to try to fit in. He says, you know, just be who you want to be and smoke what you want to smoke. And I really appreciated that advice from John. As such, I ended up sending him the tin of Pembroke and the tin of, the, they were both started, so I sealed them up really well, but I ended up sending him those two tins of tobacco directly so he would enjoy them. John's last video, which dated 12020, I think is the date, his live stream, his last live stream before he passed. He gave me the shout out that he received the tins of tobacco. I was curious to hear what he was going to have to say about them, and unfortunately, that opportunity didn't even come about. So, one of the things that he was touting on that video. Again, going back to what he said, you know, listen to what other people say, is he talked about this London Burley blend that was so very good, and he was comparing it to double-pressed Kentucky. So I listened to what he said, and I kept it in mind. And a short time later, sure enough, Smoking Pipes came out with a remake of McBaron's London Burley mixture. And I went out and bought five tins of it because it was going to be limited production. And, you know, from the description, I said, you know what, I think I'm going to like this. And if the worst comes to worst, I, I'm sure I can get rid of it some way, somehow. So I picked up five tins of London Burley. Really, really love it. So today is Friday. And as I do every Friday, without fail, I am smoking my commemorative number 50 Friday Savinelli that I got from Eddie at the Pipe Nook. I'm so glad that he coordinated with others to make that happen. And in it, I am smoking McBaron's Burley London mixture. So, or London blend, I should say. So, uh... John taught me to smoke my smoke and not worry and be my own person. And uh, that's the best advice I've got. So, again, Matt, Glum Chum Piper, thank you very much for the gaw. Two very good questions. I'm sure you get a lot of uh, interesting answers. Um, and, uh, oh, by the way, I actually took a shower and shaved uh, for this one. So, uh, that's how special. So thanks again. Everybody, take care. Be well. Be kind to one another. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.